here. Thank you so much for joining me. It's another beautiful day in Bali. Um, I hope you'll get some warm vibes wherever you are. I know that it's winter lots of places. It's February. I'm not sure when this is going to come out, but at the moment where I am, it's February. And uh, it's, a good, it's a good place to be in February. Anyway, I wanted to just show a few, um, a short sequence, a few things for neck and shoulders. So maybe if you wake up with a creak in your neck or whatever reason that you have some neck issues. I've been having some this past year, past six months actually. Just a few stretches, kind of my go-to stretches for, um, for the neck, yeah, to open it up. Neck and upper back, shoulders. First, if you have a bolster or a block, you can sit up on it. I like to lift my hips slightly. Sit on the edge of it. So then you're kind of tilted down, it's like at a diagonal, yeah? Hmm, bring the hands down to the thighs or the knees and just take a moment. A couple deep breaths just to clear out. Deep in, deep out. Mm. Audible exhale always helps. Ah. Beautiful, open up the eyes. Just take the right ear over towards the right shoulder. So already right here, you may have some, some tenderness, depending on if you have any acute stuff going on. Often the shoulders will roll up, keep them down and back. We're just exploring, yeah? We're just exploring what's going on on the left side of the neck. Begin to roll the head down. Again, we're not rolling the shoulders forward, we're just rolling the head down. Everything else is still upright. Checking in with the back of the neck. This is often where it gets me. The back of the neck, back in between the shoulder blades. We're just kind of like doing the inventory here. Roll over towards the left. I just noticed my right shoulder wanted to come up with it. It's avoiding the stretch here. So leave that shoulder down because we want to open up on the right side. Roll back to center. Once more on each side. Actually, more than once more. Let's roll continuous movement from the left to the right. So now begin to notice if there's any restriction and if there is where it lives. Where the pain, where the actual pain is happening and then in what position the head is in when the pain happens. Investigating. And then come back up to center. Yeah? Ah. Let's bring the arm over the chest here. Pull in. So we're just opening up in the shoulder area. Inhale, make some space, and exhale, pull in. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. So the exhale pulls in, inhale you give space, and exhale pull in. Right arm lifts, comes up and behind the back. Maybe the left hand comes behind the back and you grab for the fingers, or maybe it comes up and you just stretch the shoulder. Notice that we don't want a big banana back here, so knit the ribs together. Push the head back into the arm if the arm is behind the head and the arm back into the head, so you kind of get some equal opposition here. Begin to spiral the heart towards the left. Unwind the arms. Take a twist. Couple rounds of breath here. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist. Again, inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist. Come back to center. Left arm comes across the body. Right arm pulls in. Outer shoulder. Inhale, make space. Exhale, curl in. Again, inhale, and exhale once more. Inhale, exhale. Left arm lifts up behind the head. Right arm comes behind the back. Maybe you grab for the fingers, or the arm comes up towards the elbow, either one. Knit the low ribs together. Push down through the sit bones to lift up through the crown of the head. So we're always looking for a little bit more space on each side.
spiral the heart towards the right, unwind the arms, right arm comes behind the back, left arm comes to the knee. Inhale, lift the crown of the head and exhale, twist. Inhale, lift and twist once more. Inhale, pull heart center forward and twist. Unwind to center. Inhale, open the arms up, arch the back. And exhale, right arm over left, connect eagle arms. Pull the elbows away, round the back. So it looks kind of like this, can you see? <laughs> round, tuck in, let the head hang. Let the head be heavy so it opens up the back of the neck. A couple rounds of breath here. Inhale, lift the arms, gaze up, arch the back. And exhale, curl in. Again, lift, arch, curl and round. Inhale, lift and arch, and curl and round. Inhale, open the arms into a big T, arch the back. This time, left arm over right, same thing. Arch the back, pull the elbows away, so this is getting a good back stretch here. And then curl down, hang out for a moment, stretching upper back, upper shoulders. Inhale, lift, and exhale, round. Lift and round once more. Inhale and curl. Open the arms up into a big T once more. And exhale, bring the hands down. Do some spinal rolling here, some spinal movements. Take the hands out in front. We'll do it this way first, cat cow. So you can be on the fingertips or be on hands on the earth, yeah? Inhale, energetically pull the hands towards the hips, arch the back. So you're pulling the hands towards you. This helps to give more space for the heart. Inhale, arch, open the throat. It's like cat, sorry, cow pose. Exhale, push the ground away as you round, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round. Cat and cow in the back, yes. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round once more. Inhale, forward. And exhale, round. I'll do one more that was really helping me. I was having some pain in my neck and in between the shoulder blades, like I mentioned, and this this move was really getting in there for me anyway. So take the right hand out to the right side. Lift the left arm up and over. So this is kind of getting into the left side. Take the hand behind the head. So what we're going to do is we're going to curl in. So I'm really coming concave. Like I'm pulling in, curling in. I'm going to bring the elbow towards the left knee. Pull the head down so you have a lot of weight here. So I can really feel it on the upper left shoulder, neck. Inhale, open, and exhale, round, 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 down. So the more you round, the more you exaggerate it, stay here. Inhale, lift once more, exhale, round, down. Let's stay for a couple rounds of breath. Mm. Really feel it inside of my neck. Full exhale, and inhale come up let's try that on the other side so the left hand plants right arm comes up and over maybe you walk the left arm out hand behind the head reach through the elbow inhale here and then round 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 and reach elbow towards the knee ah so the more you exaggerate this the better inhale open up exhale curl the belly to the spine spine moves back Curl in. Ah. Once more. Inhale. And exhale. Ah. Inhale. Come all the way up. Beautiful. And just where we began, we'll just start again to take the ear towards the right shoulder. Take a moment and reach the left arm out. 
maybe reach through the heel of the hand and do this a couple times like you're kind of pumping something or pushing a button with the left hand. And then roll the head down and to the left. And then push out through the heel of the right hand. Beautiful. And roll the head down and then just continue to roll here. This time really round the back as you come open and then arch as you come to the left. Round as you come forward, arch the back as you get to the right. A couple more times like this. Movement in the spine, base of the neck, and slowly come to stillness. Ha! I hope you find a little more openness and a little more relief here. Thank you for joining me. I hope to meet you all someday, eventually. I'm teaching lots um, of retreats and some workshops. I'm getting ready to start traveling again. So check out my website. It's, there should be a card that pops up here. Or you can check below. Um, there's a link in the descriptions. There you can figure out where I'll be. I would love to meet you all for a class or workshop or even just for coffee or something. Um, or matcha. I don't really drink coffee. Matcha or tea. And if you'd like some longer classes, I have a subscription service called Om Yoga Tribe. That link is in the website or in the description as well. And that gives you all these videos ad-free. We had to put some of the ads on these videos just to keep it going, keep the free content going. But um, so subscription service is ad-free. It's $10 a month and you get a one-hour flow each month. So it's quite, quite a deal if you'd like to expand your practice. So that's all I got. Have a good day. See you on your mat.